guys. Everybody. This is Deborah Vick with Wheels in Motion, and I have today some very special guests on stage with me. We are going to be talking about the OWL app, but before doing so, I'd like to take a moment to introduce Jason Hill. Brian Schreier here to talk about the OWL app. It was recently released. It had its debut in the Apple Store and the Google Store last Thursday. Thursday, and we have the founder of the program, Jason Hill, sitting right here, uh, right up there, my top, uh, at the top left, I'm, I'm trying to determine the angle from the opposite direction. And we have Daniel Hall and Brian Strubar as well. They are ambassadors with this app, and they are also involved with podcasting in a lot of different venues. But for the moment, we're going to have a little bit of introduction for each other, as well as what is this OWL app about? How did it come about to fruition? And how can people best utilize it in our daily activities? So Jason, I'd like to give the first question to you as to why this app was created and where, how would people access it and where are we going with this app? Where do you think it will go? That is a great question. Uh, it was developed August of 2020 on paper and started to uh, go into production January 2021. And we are in the beta 2.0 right now in the App Store and the Google Play Store, where it's really just free networking at this current time where people can talk to other experts uh, and really get to know other people and, and share their journey and any expertise that they currently have or wanna learn about at this time. And it was built Really, you know, when COVID-19 hit for multiple reasons, we all miss communicating with each other. We miss that ability to have genuine conversations because we were all living at home and we couldn't go out and we had a social distance. And at that time, I, saw, I thought to myself, wouldn't it be amazing if when we're driving in a car, we could just pick up a device, our mobile phone, for example, and just call another individual on the other end and, and, and learn from their expertise. So that's how it all started. I'm a podcaster. I run the Shrimp Tank podcast where I've interviewed close to 200 entrepreneurs from South Florida. And I really learned so much uh, from all these entrepreneurs that have joined us on the, all our different episodes in person. So I thought, well, how cool would it be where others could get that same opportunity where you could reach out to individuals that sometimes aren't in your Rolodex? You know, someone that, you know, runs a specific business, for example, that you want to learn about. Or let's say you just want to learn how to put a podcast together like I've done on the Shrimp Tank and learn from my experience how cool it would be to search different filters to that specific expert and being able to really connect with them instantly on demand. Right now, the whole advice business is always booking into the future or hounding people on social media to connect with you. And everyone's social inboxes are are becoming overflow, overflowing, right? We have inboxes from LinkedIn, TikTok, Clubhouse, and all these different platforms and some of them are three, four inboxes within themselves. And I said, there's gotta be a better way. So mm -hmm. I went out and I, and I built a better way. Now, if you have an audience, this amazing platform, you can share with your audience specific, specific time that you're going to be available once a week, twice a week, or once a day, once a month. And just say, Hey, if you want to chat with me, this is the best route to do it. It's secure. It's private. No one's listening in on your, your audio calls and the beauty of it, it's audio calls. So no video, you could sit back, relax, do it in your pajamas, do it in your car ride to work or home from work and just have genuine conversations because what it's all about is connecting. At the end of the day, we're finding that we're spending too much time on social platforms and really not connecting. And our platform is going to allow you to have genuine 10 minute, 20 minute, 30 minute conversations and get to the root of scenarios quicker. And we are finding on our app that exactly what's happening. People are gaining valuable relationships from these conversations uh, and actually meeting in person and, and really, you know, having a great time on the app and 
Of course, we have Daniel Hall here and Brian who will share some of those stories with, with everyone today. Daniel, can you take that first? Oh, I'm muted. Daniel, can you take the next question for a second? I need to just address something real quick. Sure. sure. It's just not, it's not fun. Okay, Daniel, I will ask you a question. All right. Tell, tell us the most interesting conversation you've had on our application. My is Deborah. I know Deborah's one of the most interesting ones that you've had in the past, but share, shed a light on some of these conversations you, you have that have uh, really stuck out to you. Absolutely. That is an amazing, amazing uh, conversation because I've talked to so many people, actually 183 people to be exact, since September of last year. Um, some of the most amazing conversations are with Marines that have, you know, one of the best stories was uh, uh, the, the, these Marines were, were uh, behind enemy lines and they were in a field of poppies. And th what saved them or gave them enough cover to get out of there was... Uh, you know, when the helo came down and it just stirred up all the, the poppies were in bloom. So it stirred up all the, the poppies, uh, the, the flowers and everything just gave them enough cover to get out of where they were at. And so you get not only personal stories, but uh, you get things like, I thought I was a blockchain expert. You know, I knew about Bitcoin, I know about Ethereum, all that stuff. And then I got to talk to another person, Yomandi, and she was just in sync with what was going on with the SEC and the governance and the standards that they were going out with. So that was another incredible conversation that I had. I had the ability to talk to Deborah Barsha, who is the piano player for the Tina uh, Broadway hit. And uh, just, you know, one of the first concerts I saw was Tina Turner. And it was so interesting to hear about her experience in the music industry. And a few days ago, I got to talk to Deborah Vick, which she called me. She ended up calling me as the expert but I turned around and called her back three more times because we have six adopted special needs children. And we believe one of our daughters has uh, Ehlers-Danlos and she has, uh, Deborah has so much experience with autoimmune and, and, you know, thyroid issues and Ehlers-Danlos. And it was just so captivated. And I got really personal with Deborah about, you know, what what happened when she was younger? You know, did you experience this? Um, should we expect this when she gets older? She's in dance now. What will happen to her bones? And it was just one of the most amazing conversations. It was not how I thought the conversation was going to go, but I was just so captivated by what I was learning. And now... You know, when you sign up on the platform, you know, you're getting $10 and each of the OWL experts are only $1. So I probably would have paid four or $500 for the 10 minutes that I was on with, with Deborah, which you can't put a price tag on, on taking care of your family and taking care of your business. So that was a great question, Jason. So so Jason, tell me yes. how we met. How tell me how we met? I gave you a nice pitch pitch slap, of course. <laughs> uh, you were on LinkedIn. We are a connection, but like many of us, we don't really know most of our connections. I would say I probably only know three to five percent of my connections. It's common on LinkedIn. We hit the connect button. We see a post from someone, but we really don't know that other individual that well. And that's a major problem with LinkedIn. And I I read one of your posts um, and I pitched you. I said, hey, I'd love to have you try out Owl App. And I really did not know much about your background. 
And you, of course, said, what are you pitching me right now? What is this? What is this app? Uh, and you, you said, well, I'm giving you a heads up. I hacked into Clubhouse. And if you want me to test your app, I'm going to gonna really you know, test it out properly and see if I could hack in there. And I told you to go ahead. I said, sure. I, I put, you know, you know, all my faith in developing this app with the developers. I'm all in in life right now, you know, bringing this to the marketplace and want to make sure that it was designed right. And I thought, hey, if you could hack it, let me know because, you know, I'm going to bring that information back to developers and make it better. Uh, so that way, when, you know, we entered the app store, we knew that it was hack proof. So it was a really awesome journey uh, that you took me up on that offer and tried to hack it and came back and said, actually, this is built right from the from the ground up, you know, with the right team in place. And, and, you know, since then, we've had a great experience working together. You were one of the earliest adopters and you saw the vision immediately, how this was going to change the world. It's been awesome to have you on board. I think it was July or August when you started uh, testing the app yeah. out when we had a lot more bugs and you've really seen the app blossom with different features and of course, different types of experts that are on the platform and how valuable those relationships, of course, are that you've met. So it's been awesome, you know, getting to know you. And, you know, we all start somewhere with these applications from idea to, to constructing it. And it's been fun to kind of get, you know, your thoughts behind the application and, and feedback along the way. So I'm very thankful for all those tips. Yeah, I'm, I'm certainly thankful for, for our connection. Thankful that you pitched me and, um, you know, your response was dead on as far as, you know, just please, please, please let me know if you find anything so we can have the developers fix it. I mean, I, I fell in love with your response. I fell in love with, with the way you handle your community, the way you're showing up for everybody that's on that, this platform. And I think one of the most engaging, I don't think, I know one of the most engaging features of the platform is the way you vet everybody before you allow them on the platform which doesn't happen with with clubhouse uh uh and cameo i don't believe uh, at least i don't know with cameo cameo but i know clubhouse you know they're not vetted so i really like that uh i like that you know we're not getting scammers on the platform and we're not getting uh people that are going to to sell us or sell us on 400% return on Bitcoin. So, Brian, how about you? Which question are you asking? How about you? What, 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 what are your thoughts on the future? I really model? think it's going to change the way we do social media, if you want to call it that, because I don't see the Owl app as social media. It's really a completely different type of platform where it's really built around relationships and truly connecting with people. And so to me, that's the power of this platform mm -hmm. over, say, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, et cetera, because most of those, they want you to provide content, whether it's live video or all these other things, you know, graphics and, you know, things that we post. That's what those apps thrive on. They want to keep eyeballs on their app because they often have paid ads. I like the fact that there's no paid ads on the Owl app. Yeah. We are the ads. We are the ones sharing the app. We are the ones providing the value in the app. And it's really about that true one-on-one -on -one connection where you get to talk to an expert. If you have questions, you can find out the answers. If you are an expert, you can earn a little extra cash on the side when you have a few extra minutes. I really think that's one of the biggest differences is the app is a completely new and different type of platform than anything else on the market. I couldn't agree more. Um, so, one of the one of the one of the cool features of Owl, you know, once you once you get on the platform and once you start talking to experts and you build up the relationships, the just being able to refer other experts on the platform really hits home to me because. I might have 45 years of, a, of tech experience under my belt, but as other people talk to me, other OWL experts talk to me, you know, they're going to be going around talking to other people 
and you know hooting about what other owls are doing so for example you know somebody might talk to deborah or you brian or you jason and they might and and this happened um just today or yesterday uh brian was talking with somebody that is uh, sp that deals with special needs and autism and he said he said you really have to talk to dan hall and i didn't know that conversation was was didn't know anything about that conversation but i saw this person came online her name is jennifer she came online and i saw autism as a or expertise and i'm like oh my gosh i gotta talk to her you know because autism hits home with me but that also is a good segue to not only did brian refer that but now i get to talk to jennifer about you know what kind of things that we're dealing with in, in our home and you know sh she didn't know that you know i've trained 400 over 400 inbound foster and adopted families so there you go you've connected me with a 45 years of tech experience 20 plus years of video production and uh, trained over 400 inbound foster and adoptive families. When you get on the platform as an expert or an outlet, uh, somebody that's seeking advice, you know you get to you get to learn what these experts know. Just not not only their technical experience, but well beyond the wealth of wisdom that they bring to the platform. So. You know, when you talk about when is the right time to get on OWL, now is the right time. You get to get on there for, you know, and it's uh, you get, you know, $10 right up front to be able to spend. And the cost of talking to an ex expert right now is $1. But that price is going to go up because the experts are going to set their own prices. And, um, you know, if you're thinking about, if you're hesitating, there's no obligation. You get on, you sign up, and then that sign up is free. And you get that ten dollars to call call the experts, um, and start building your 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 ratings. You know you're getting rated rated on each call, and I have 183 ratings right now of experts that I've talked to over all the different demographics of experience that you know those 183 particular calls brought to the table. So it's amazing. I recommend getting on OWL and, and, and getting that experience and talking to others while you can, while the platform is still in, uh, you know, still in the early stages of being launched and uh, while you can get and seek advice from some hey, amazing Daniel. souls. One of the things that mm -hmm. I think was really cool this morning, Jason had told me about the professional wrestler that was on the app and I had gone over and found his profile and I followed it. And one of the cool things, the features that I like in the app is when someone like that goes active or becomes available to take a call, I immediately got a notification. I was just finishing up breakfast with my kids and I saw that notification come across my phone. I grabbed my phone, hit the notification, gave him a call and I was able to spend 10 minutes talking to him and his daughter. How cool is that? Because you know, this guy is not just some little fly by night. He's been in the ring with people like The Rock. And so being able to talk with him and connect with him and his mm -hmm. daughter, they were on his way to take her to something. I forget, dance or school or somewhere. I think he was taking her to school again after spring break. But it was just really cool to be able to connect with him and his daughter. And he's really enjoying the app and the features of it. And so I think that as celebrities see the value in being able to talk to their fans, and people that want to connect with them without giving up all their privacy. That's just another huge benefit of the app. Yeah, absolutely. And I believe that was probably it was. Joseph, it was really wasn't cool. it? Joseph. Yeah, he was, he was, uh, I got to talk to him as well. And it's just, he was so down to earth and just so easy to talk to. And, I think you know I I've I've talked to to, to people that um, you know just you know there's a lot of a lot of um, I don't want to put it in a, any type of a, a a negative way but you're gonna find people that you talk to that may seem a little standoffish uh, I'm not going to kid you but 
you know, you're there to seek advice. You're there to get expert advice. And sometimes there's an ego associated with that. Well, with Joseph, that was that was an amazing conversation. So I'm glad you brought brought that up, Brian, because I had an amazing conversation with him as well. Yeah, I want to thank Jason well. for even recommending him because I probably wouldn't have thought about that and I wouldn't have read his profile necessarily fully without it. And so connections like that and the referral to make those connections is really awesome. And that's also the power of the platform because as we get to know each other as experts, and as you call other experts, they're going to connect you just like I did Daniel with, I think it was Jennifer, you know, that's the power of the platform and of the community and the family that we're building. And as owls, we can hoot our way to success by connecting each other. So there's numerous ways. So Jason, thank you for that. And do you remember Jason, how you and I connected? I think through Clubhouse, I think I, messaged you when you were inside a room and and asked you to come yeah and i couldn't believe believe. you pitched me on our first conversation (laughs) but it's no other way to do it when building a mobile application and it's new it's really hard to get people to download an application especially in a beta environment when you have to uh take the first step by going to download this thing called test flight that is run by apple it's not user friendly it's for developers and when you message someone the instructions, if you're not detailed, it's really complex to actually get it downloaded. So, yeah. you know, I, I had no choice but to pitch people to, to give it a test run. Eventually we made videos up. It was a little easier when we had the videos up. Were you part of the, the group that got the videos or, or not the videos? No, I, forget I was the, at that time the videos period. and I, I right. remember thinking, you know, how dare this guy, you know, pitch me like that. Cause you and I had barely said hi in a room with my friend, Adrian. Um, he's also an app developer. And I appreciate their app as well. And then you came in and were like pitching me another app. I'm like, man, who's this guy think he is trying to steal me from one app to the other? But I'm really glad you did because I actually really appreciate the app and the platform. And it's really changed a lot of the ways I look at business and connections. And, you know, if you're interested, Jason, I don't know if you saw, I did a video on Facebook Live earlier this afternoon where I shared a little bit my experience of using the app and some of the ways I've connected with people. So it's really a cool platform. Thank you for building it. Of course, uh, I've always been a connector uh, from podcast guests that have been on my show. And when, when they do join us for an episode for about an hour, I know immediately who they should connect with. So this is really extension of something I was always doing uh, through my podcast, uh, but on a bigger scale. Because now when people come in, the beauty of it is you have a folder of your own owls that you're saving, my owls. And the beauty is, like you said, if you have a bucket of 300 types of experts that you've either spoken to or want to speak to, you know, you could go and, and search them when you have a problem in your business or your life and just want to see guidance. And that could be from all different levels, right? As a father with two kids, if I need advice about my children, I could search for an expert regarding that topic. If I want to scale my podcast and learn how to monetize it better, I could find some of the most brilliant podcast experts in the world on our application. If I want to learn what it was like, you know, to get you know, on pay-per-view, you know, in the middle of the ring with The Rock, Right. I could ask Joseph and say, you know, what were those first steps that you took to, to even get that opportunity to be in the stage with the rock? So there's so many opportunities within this application that we are all finding. But I didn't even realize I I just wanted to make it easier for people to connect and, and of course, seek guidance you know, on certain topics. But I, I guess I did not realize when this was being built that the different types that were going to love it right now, we have a dog trainer on the application and and always he's always getting messages and it's not manageable on all his social platforms so he's loving it he's on there he's taking already 15 calls or so and one day he's going to tell every person that reaches out to him on social media that that's the best way to call him Uh, and eventually he'll start posting on his instagram handle and other platforms and funnel people to a specific day or two of the week to make his life a little easier so it's really cool that people can follow along and we'll continuously improve notification settings. So maybe you want to save someone in your bucket of owls and maybe you're only going to call them once a year, but you don't want to get notified every single time. So eventually we'll, we'll have different settings. So that way you don't have to unfollow them. You'll just actually leave them in your bucket. And one day you could increase, you know, the notification level on that person. So that way, if you definitely want to speak to them, the next time they go live, if it's a couple of days or a couple of weeks, at least you'll, you'll get that ping request. And then you'll be able to 
touch base with them. So I'm excited about all these different features. We have a hundred different ideas on, on a Excel document. And one day we'll go one by one with the most important features uh, and give everybody what, what they yeah, want at the end awesome. of the day. And you have, and uh, Jason, you are one degree away from Gary Vaynerchuk, from what I understand, through Adam Posner. Correct. Adam um, was one of your contacts, and I was one degree from you. Adam joined us on an episode of The Shrimp Tank he, when he was visiting South Florida. He uh, took me up on the offer to do a quick podcast interview, and we grabbed a bite to eat afterwards. And he used to work with Gary, and it will be really fun to have Adam on board uh, the platform. He already says he loves it. We've taken some clips of him talking about how Often people are always asking him to pick his brain. He does not have the time to allow everyone, you know, into his inner circle. And he runs a top 1% podcast uh, interviewing some of the, the best, you know, experts in the world right now. And it'll be really fun to have him, you know, spend more time on Owl application and then also share it with all of his guests that he's had on his podcast. And that's what we're starting yeah. to see. We're starting to see a lot of people, you know, come in via referral. It, the, the platform is not really pushy anymore that everyone on this call where I said, you got to come in this app. It's amazing. It's really hard to verbally tell people about the platform. It, it's, it's way better visually when they see a YouTube video of what's going on behind the scenes in the application. But the second they join the application and the experience making their first call and someone picks up, they can't believe it that someone's on the other line, you know, within 30 seconds and they're having a conversation and then they have the ability to add more time onto that conversation instantly by clicking one button and maybe have a 20 minute 30 minute call on their first owl call and then when they apply to become an expert um they can't believe that they could just go live with a click of a button and then their phone rings right it's, it's really amazing that you go live and within an hour you might get a couple calls um, and right now we are scaling our platform we've seen a lot of new downloads and not new experts in the last two weeks so it's a lot of fun uh we're all we're all getting to meet new faces on the application. And of course, early adopters will be rewarded because you get to keep all these reviews. And as you know, even though it's a dollar, it's not really a dollar because every time you refer someone, you get 10 more dollars. Every time you take a call, you make, you make approximately a dollar as well, minus our platform fee. So really it's, it's free. So, uh, so in the next 45 days, until we allow people to really change their pricing, what a great opportunity to build connections and network and build reviews and and relationships uh, where you know it's not it's not typical to be able to do it uh, in that in that time frame, and maybe one day no one changes the price. Maybe once a month or twice a month we do dollar days. We will really find out because uh, what we are seeing is people love networking together, and there'll be a lot of people that probably charge a dollar to five dollars, and they're not going to charge thirty dollars. So it'll be fun to launch and see where this goes. Of course. Old school it's style fun. of building relationships has definitely become the new school through OWL. You know, back way back in the day, we had telephones and landlines. And, you know, we used to uh, talk to people just one on one. You know, well, that's all we could do. We didn't have, you know, the call waiting. And there was a time that we didn't have any of that. And this, I feel like this is just going back to old school and getting that intimate conversation. Except this, these conversations are with people that you wouldn't normally have or even be attainable without our large social followings, which brings up a point. Anyone with a large social following cannot control all their inboxes anymore. And the beauty of our platform is that, that these folks can make it uh, available to the, the followers that they have to chat with one-on-one. -on -one. So there's no platform that exists like this. When we look at apps like Cameo, that's the closest thing to that. But the problem with Cameo is, you know, these experts have to go live a specific time frame. It's extremely expensive. $2 for two, two minutes for five, $600. It's on video. Um, and a lot of these folks on Cameo are not really a big fan of being on video because people are snapping photos of it and then sharing it on their social platforms. They way prefer an audio call where they could have a more genuine conversation knowing it's not being recorded, not being shared on social media. Uh, and our guidelines state that you can't do that. Of course, people could do it, but then they're, 
they would get warnings that they violated our terms and conditions. So it's really going to be fun to get all these different types of experts, celebrities, influencers onto our platform. I really want to speak with them and they're being held accountable with a review at the end of a phone call. So if someone is doing something inappropriate and pitching you and they keep, you know, going the wrong direction on a conversation, well, at the end of the call, you are reviewing the advice seeker. And if these scores get too low, that advice seeker is not going to be able to use our platform. They will receive warnings. Same with the expert. If the expert is is not providing uh, the level of service that people are expecting, you know, unfortunately, we're going to have to remove from the platform. So that that is really the big thing with our platform that operates us from platforms like Clubhouse, which it's a free for all. It's all about followers, likes, comments, and there's a lot of scams going on on Clubhouse for that reason. With our platform, uh, we hope to you know be a little bit more professional uh, with all the ratings yeah. that everyone's providing. So this is Deborah. Uh, so, Jason, there was a question on LinkedIn from April Roga. Looks like. Yes. And she asks, what would you say to that person who is an expert but doesn't view themselves as one uh, and is apprehensive about joining OWL because of their self-limiting beliefs? That would be me. Sorry. That's what makes our platform amazing because the boundaries. All it is is a call with 10 minutes and you don't have to stay on the entire 10 minutes. And right now it's it's $1 and you're getting 10 free dollars platform. So what's, so what's really nice is, you know, you could jump on there and, and do it casually. You could pick some the students really have fear picking up phones and calling people, but, but they need those skills. Workers, yeah. they're going to have to call people. They're going to have to, you know, go on job interviews. They're going to have to speak in front of people. I mean, not, most careers eventually have communication built in from some degree. We can't just text people. We can't just message people on social platforms. Speaking is one of the most important things we know, you know, in life. So what we're finding is that students are jumping in and calling people and getting career advice. And after these calls, they're overcoming their fears and they're getting better at speaking. So it's really interesting that if if this platform can help the next generation uh, build better communication skills. Uh, but then, you know, what we're really saying is the platform will build better communication skills for everybody at the end of the day. Yeah. Right. Anyone using this platform, um, you know, will will be a little nervous, you know, with their first couple of calls. And that makes sense. We're all nervous. Right. I'm I this is my first LinkedIn live. You know, I'm like, what's going on right now? I got to get in the box. I was trying to move back and forth. And finally, I figured it out uh, when I was a podcaster for the first time. I had no idea what I was doing. I was so nervous. Um, and all those podcasts are still up there. You could hear it in my voice how nervous I was, you know, the first five, se seven episodes. Uh, but we all overcome our fears, and then we typically are very happy that we did. So I look at this platform no different, that um, a lot of people that have fear speaking with others will overcome it and one day come out a better human being uh, because of it. Because I think right now we have a lot of people hiding behind social media, and social media has caused um, a lot of damage uh, you know, in general to communities, uh, families, and I think that we're seeing the data now, and there needs to be improvement and an owl we hope will improve a lot of people's lives at the end of the day because we're making it easier to connect to people and and generally have conversations and keep it professional at the end of the day because of the reviews so jason i well, actually mentioned that comment about those podcasts because some of the audio wasn't quite working earlier tonight uh there was a little bit of reverberation sounds going on uh, did I... we lose you deborah can you no, guys hear deborah? i'm here i can, can hear, deborah. hear me you know, turn your audio up just a little bit. Okay. It was just vibrating low. and reverberating for people that were listening before, so I didn't want to make sure I Perfect. wasn't adding to that element. So I did want to acknowledge that statement of being a newbie in podcasting, having a lot of challenges with these microphones lately, but still working through it. Thank you, April, for sending me that back channel message. So hopefully it is less echoey. And every time I go to turn off my echo, it manages to go quiet all for everybody. But I will say, uh, yesterday, so some people know that I've been working with Ecamm, and I was talking about this with a lot of people yesterday. Because we gain these skills, now this is always working for me, but we gain the skills, and people want to know how to use these things. and want to use utilize how do I make the avatars, how do I make my different digital images, how did I put it together to broadcast it, right? And 
it sometimes can take a little bit of explanation or work, but if, as somebody else said before, instead of going to Dr. Google to the answers, that might take a really long time to find it. Being able to get on an app, call up somebody who has some knowledge, some ideas, and just some things to bounce off with you or whoever else is part of that call to help get you moving in that direction. And I will say that question of whether or not you felt yourself to be an expert enough to be on the app is something that I faced my self-limiting uh, factors there. And as Daniel's laughing at that concept, I, mean, I don't know what she's talking about. She spoke for a long time with me about these different things that I could do, but I didn't know if it would be something that would resonate with people. And I do wear multiple different hats from everything from the advocacy arena to the creative endeavors. But I didn't know if that would be enough for somebody to want to call me up. But lo and behold, I have been uh, interacting with it. And I really loved the ability to, and I think we discussed this in podcasting rooms as well, as providing that additional element for follow-up conversation. You know, whether you want to be a contractor or in my case, I want to contract and work with people on how to create inclusive communities, especially the workforce and the education. And whether it's the neurodiverse communities or people with physical or cognitive or all the above limitations, creating that space. All right. And this seems like an venue, venue that I can one day go down with and become that consultant and that person that can just give some tips on how to make a project more accessible for a student to a conference, you know, whatever it may be. And I think it's very vital for that element. So I just wanted to throw my two cents in there about that. And one of the one of the cool things, <clears throat> one of the cool things of, you know, just having that expertise. It doesn't matter what level of expertise you have. There's always going to be someone that is looking or searching for someone to talk to that may be at a beginning or an intermediate level of that expertise, because. For me, you know, software development, I I dream code. But if it's if if it, you're looking at you know starting a business, man, where do I begin? I mean, it, it, I might have all these creative ideas, but when it comes to starting a business, I might need a little hand holding. But I don't need hand holding from Gary Vaynerchuk. I need hand holding from somebody that can speak plain English and not speak all these terms that are way, way above the head. And it just scares that person away. So to answer April's question, you know, there's, th th this is why it, it's so amazing. I was so amazing because you can reach out to the expert and it's might be at the level that you're looking for. And April, you might be the the person that they reach out to because maybe you're not at the like top tier of this expertise. But um, like what um, Deborah just said, you know, she's she's getting her feet wet in in podcasting and live streaming, and you know, she's going to reach out to people like Jason and Jemmy and and uh, just pick their brains. And that's exactly what the platform is for. And Deborah might get to a certain point where she's outgrown those experts and she needs somebody just a little bit higher than that to, to gain a little bit more expertise. So it doesn't matter what level you come in at. Um, you know, I'm, I might be able to talk a little bit about, you know, Ellers Danlos and, and, you know, speak some of the language, but when, I saw that Deborah had that experience and she's living it. Deborah, I don't mean to share any of your health no, information, so I, I deeply apologize it, that she's awesome. living it. I'm, I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is a wealth of knowledge. This is somebody that I can pick their brain. I can ask personal, intimate questions upon approval. And I'm telling you... <laughs> I just, I had chills running up and down my spine talking to her just because, you know, we, we absolutely 
want our children to show up for each other after we're after the book of life is said and done <coughs> and to help our children thrive is really what we want to be able to do in life i mean and deborah provided that knowledge for me and you know i take that knowledge back to to my wife and just cat she was captivated by the conversation so thank you thank you i know and i appreciate that too now i hear my echo i appreciate that too because the reality is we all have an expertise in something and still having problems hearing you deborah trying to find the right balance with this like microphone I am uh, so so i was going to say it takes about i'll step in since see her mic's off brian let's touch base Right, you've been working on this platform this, this entire time. Tell us some of the most interesting people that you've had signed up on the application. Well, Jason, I have talked to so many amazing people, and I've had some really cool people from people who helped launch Facebook, LinkedIn, and Clubhouse. They joined me on the Owl app. They're excited about the platform, all the way down Jason. to some friends who are experts in their own rights. And it's really about whatever level you're at, that's what you need to do. Maybe you want to up your expertise in one area, then you can find that expertise. If you're someone like Daniel who maybe wants to talk to um, people with autism or adoption things, that's awesome. But a lot of us are also very professional LinkedIn type where we want to have business conversations and that's perfectly fine as well. You can use the app for really personal type yep. conversations or really, really professional. So that's the cool thing. I found a lot of great collaboration with some really innovative people all the way from web development to different clubs and communities, you know, down to, you know, really, really amazing relationship coaches. And to answer April's question, I think it's a very valid question. You know, if you're on the Owl app, what if someone were to ask you a question that you don't know the answer to, or maybe you don't even know who to refer them to. And that's one of the reasons we have, you know, communities built around the Owl app or you can now jump into that community, ask questions, get feedback, even while you're live on a call. So you don't have to feel like you're going at it alone, and we're all there to help support you. So that's just part of the benefit of the OWL family and having other experts there, basically your beck and call, kind of in your hip pocket, so to speak. But none of this would be possible without Jason, the man who developed this platform. And that's why I think it's so crucial that you download the app try it on your own device, see who you might connect with, because there's nothing like that personal connection. Yep, and can, can you guys hear me now? Or am yeah. <laughs> I sounding echoey? A little bit. Is that better now that I'm closer to I the microphone? The Any better? A little bit better. Okay. A little bit better. I'm still low. Um, I don't know why. It sounds like it's really loud. There you go. There you go. Okay. Now I'm right up close to that microphone, hopefully not reverberating. Uh, I was going to say, on this app, this image here, there's QR codes for the Apple Store and for the Google Play Store. Uh, and then we can put in the codes to download it after for signing up. But I wanted to highlight that. I also put it in the chat as well. I, I did really want to highlight something one, it's taken me a long time to get used to social media, get used to putting myself out there. It's been a long journey of self-discovery and self gaining self-confidence to do so. But the app itself is such a great way to connect with people who have that knowledge. right? As we talked about earlier, I'm starting a podcast, a radio show, and ridiculously, I was hooked up on creating my opening little two-second video thing. And had a number of podcasters just tell me get past it create create something real quick here this is what you need to do but the most important element is to get up and do it or not necessarily get up but get it out there and start publicizing publishing it even with those imperfections one so that others realize those imperfections so they realize we need not be perfect when we start and then two we're just ripping that Band-Aid off and doing these things, right? And I would not have gained that knowledge or confidence had it not been for a number of the people that are podcasters that I've been connecting with through the app 
and off the app to really okay. push forth doing taking that next step and that next action to really go beyond the concept and actually applying it. So I just wanted to add that because so much knowledge is shared on these apps that could really help us become a better version of ourselves. Sorry, that is so cute. Daniel, that is just really cute. There you go. <laughs> that kind of panda bear, very adorable. But I do think it's, in terms of that professionalism, in terms of even the element of, you know, I understand there are amazing voice coaches out there, but somebody who's just starting out, somebody who's just learning to get comfortable, maybe not having the funds to pay for the voice coach, but could you use some tips, pointers? How do you start? You know, and that's something you're referring to, Daniel, is that tier level, right? Where you start out, yeah. maybe you only need here because you're just beginning. You're not at this level. We can't see my hands yet, but you're not at this level, right? You're at the beginning stages. And then you work your way up towards the top, you know, going up that ladder until you become that high-end expert. But we all have something to offer, whether it's parenting, whether it's education, homeschooling, pet care. I have service dogs, right? So I work with my service dogs or a lot of other medical conditions, as well as that creation of adapting for whatever your needs are at that moment. And I know we've a lot of times have talked about my concept of wanting to teach people how to pivot and to pivot and redefine that success. And a lot of that can be done through these types of calls. I don't have to be an expert in what their field is, but I do know how to pivot. I do know how to teach that mindset behind pivoting and that goal orientation. And there are those that do even more so in that arena than myself. But it's a starting point for a lot of people. So I do highly recommend it. I do think it's a great way to further that conversation. And especially, we were just at a conference last weekend, and after the conference, it's a nice way to say, hey, give me a call here. Let's take this to the next level and see where we can collaborate and move forward together. Thank you, Deborah, for coming on. I'm going to have to jump All off. All right, buddy. Some other yeah. stuff going on. But thank you so much for having me on. I appreciate it. Perfect. Thank you so much, and thank you for being here. And last words, yep, everybody. I'm, Go yeah, run I'm around, Robin. Too. Five o'clock rolls around, and it's time for Mama to recharge her batteries. No worries. <laughs> Did y'all want to give any last-minute words before closing out? Or Download the Owl in? app. Two W's, because owls are wise, and two L's, because you're going to love it. <laughs> That's our uh, famous Chuck, uh, you know, audio professional that downloaded the Owl app. And uh, came up with that, uh, you know, nice rhyme. So yeah, go to App Store, go to the Google Play Store, give it a, give it a, a run, and reach out to these folks if you want a code. Each of them have a special, unique code that will get you ten dollars for free when you download the app. So message any of the three on stage to the LinkedIn account of your choosing, and yes. come give it a spin, and we'll all be on Owl App, taking calls, making calls, and experience Absolutely. it yourself. Perfect. Thank you De so much. Deborah, thank you so much for, for having us. Uh, thank you. I appreciate you so much for you. every your wisdom and just the level of knowledge that you brought to the table on our call. So I can't put a price tag on that. So thank you. Thank it was you a pleasure. So much. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you. And I will put, if anybody else wants to put their codes thank in too, will. I'll put that in at the end of the call for everybody. Awesome. Thank you. And with that, we will say goodbye. See you later, everyone. Hoot hoot. <laughs> Wait, I did have a good sound. <laughs>